Hello and welcome to another Squad Ops Operation Jackal. I'm Killer Man Time and I'm joined by Jack. I think he was last here with Wilbur for what? The last stop? It was the it was on Manic. Uh I just remember the it was uh the Canadians against the Russians, I believe, or US on on Manic. I can't remember what the name of it is though. Ah, it's fine. I I've done so many ops that I can't quite put my thumb on what was last and what was coming up. Uh, anyways, we're going to move on over to commands and loadouts because I think I'm behind a bit here and I don't want to be late for the beginning. So, for round one, for the US side, command will be Aethel, his 2IC is Oddball, and his 3SLs being Frost, Guardian, and Dixfolk. How about over there on the INS? All right, for the INS side, we have the Village Elder Commander, Londarts with his 2IC Alpha Guido, as, long, as well as Block, Krusty, and Rose as his squad leads. Hmm, interesting. And moving over to the loadouts for Team 1, which will be the U.S. team. Uh, for its infantry level squad, it's going to be... One SL, two ARs, one medic. For platoon level, it's going to be eight engineers, two MGs, two ammo bearers, and crewmen as needed in case they have to drive specific vehicles. Uh, vehicles for the cop con convoy, it's going to be two MRAP open tops or one striker, two lodgies, and one transport truck. FOB, it's going to be for the cops, one mortar, two HMG tripods, and various defensive structures. Support, they're limited to only two artillery smoke barrages. Uh, how about for the INS side? For the INS side, per squad, we have the one times squad lead, two times automatic rifleman, and one times medic. And for the platoon, they have six times lats, two times HAT, and two times scouts, which the command has already divvied up between the four squads. For vehicle assets, the insurgent team has two Logi techies that must start at main to deliver supplies to their roadblocks to help build up uh, various defensive structures. And for the command, uh, they do not have any any special abilities. There's no IED drones. They must. They are not allowed to place AP mines. And for the total of roadblocks, they will be two times oil drums blocking the roads. All right. And to continue on with the U.S. side for what he went on for the INS, which was a little bit more specific in the rulings, uh, the U.S. must start at their main, which, if you're looking at the up map right now, would be somewhere behind that yellow line. Um, roadblocks must be cleared before the U.S. truck, Logi trucks can move past them, wherever the INS sets them up. Uh, Roadblocks are considered clear when all stakes are gone. It can't just be, you can't have just the barrels disappear. The stakes have to disappear from the map also. Uh, FOB may be placed at the COP only if at least one Logi truck makes it to the COP. If they have none, no FOB can be built. Uh, Xfil locations are as followed. If the Logi truck is destroyed before FG line, uh, U.S. must exfil to H743 and defend the location until INS is are or well, INS is eliminated. Uh, generally, the same for if Logi truck is destroyed after FG line, U.S. must continue to COP at D894 and defend the location until reinforcement reinforcements arrive. U.S. logistics trucks must stay on the road. They cannot leave it for any reason. Uh, U.S. may not place any AT mines. And that is pretty much it for the uh, team loadouts. All right, we've got a INS command contacts. briefing going on. Most likely in the hotel column and the golf column. Now, in order to push through that, we're going to set up a platoon line with the helmets. You know, you position the line here. You can sit on the map right now fading. In an L-shaped formation with the armored vehicle, the southeast part of the L. And the idea is we push in a compact line, gradually clear the northern bank until we reach our objective. 
The striker will provide southern security for Orbo squad, which is the southernmost squad in the line. And infantry will be able to be either QRF or apply some pressure in, in case we need to. The vehicles um, will always be in the rear. Once we clear a section of the northern bank, we send a few guys to bring them back into our line, pull them in a safe location, rinse and repeat. Once we get to the actual location, ideally I'd want a single squad in there. Um, building fortifications, adding a few uh, emplacements, we have two HMGs and more. Once that is done, we can fan out and have a perimeter. Okay, sales break them out, live in 5 seconds. Alright, and really cutting it close there with the uh, live time for uh, briefing. Literally 5 seconds before live and they haven't even gotten in their trucks yet. And we are going to see how the U.S., uh, specifically Athel's team, handles this. Has the U.S. opted for the striker or the two open top MRAPs? It looks like they've opted for the striker. That's a solid choice. The striker can do a lot of damage on this map. Almost every single one of these half walls, the striker can head glitch behind it and shoot over top of it. While most of its uh, bodies in cover. Did, did you, are, we have, did, yeah. One of you guys take. Uh, I wouldn't really call that head glitch. Be... It is a legitimate Actually, tactic no, I to uh, have the turret above a solid surface. I just took a dodgy mice. So but yeah, no, I definitely. Yeah, uh, I used. I used, definitely used the wrong terminology. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing with the striker? But there are a couple really strong points on this map for vehicles. Uh, it can be interesting to see uh, here, here's, here's, what here's, they do if they spread the infantry on one side and use the striker right, on a different side, or if the striker kind of pushes along care, with the infantry. The yeah, we're going to see... The U.S. has got a little bit before they come in contact with any INS forces. I'm going to float over and see what they're up Make to. Sure it looks like they've... I feel like it's a little more heavy on the uh, yep, northern the side. Ball, if, uh... Let's say 100 meters. Maybe I'm just... No, it definitely looks like it's a little bit more heavier on the northern side with uh, troops. Maybe like one or two, if you want to say heavier. Yeah, and uh, actually the insurgents to the north of the, the north of the map in Hotel 677 are actually calling out the U.S. Lodges along the north side. They have a clear line of sight towards the north part of the map, and they're giving that out in command chat. Uh, they see two times lodges parked in K four one nine. How? To plug Wait a second. In that is, dang! Someone's got some good eyes. My money's on somebody with a binocular set as well. I'm trying to see if I can see anyone with that. Uh. Right. You're probably right with that money shot there. Mission to cross the uh, southern road with my infantry element and clear. But I've got nothing on chatter from the screen, U.S. Yeah. side with any spotting, yeah, um, which I don't think I'm am. Not control. until they get really close, because they're not looking that far ahead. So they've only spotted the vehicle and not the uh, troop movements, right? So far, all that's been called out in command chat is the logistic structs along the north side of the map. All right. All right, guys, race out. Oh, yes. That's, I don't know. Is it just me, Jack, or have you noticed that a lot of people keep forgetting the uh, spacing rule? Hell yeah. Definitely, it's uh, it's something that uh, in in I've noticed in squad ops that people, off the start of ops, tend to forget, thinking that you know, oh, there won't be contact right away. I got time, you know, I don't really need to be focusing too much on it. And then before you know it, one grenade's killed five, six dudes. Yeah. I wish I knew what that game was. Uh, Come on, which vehicle are you in? I'm, I'm not gonna. 
I can't pronounce that. Yep, I'm moving up <laughs> I really the can't pronounce um, that name. I am sorry. Cool I'm just going to call you a CH. Right yep, um, right but I... Honestly, I don't think I've ever heard that one. Chain of Command. Have you heard that one, Jack? I have not heard of Chain of Command. I'm going to quickly Google it. Squad three sent guys to get the line. Ah, six. okay. I have one, you have the two others. Well, it's a board game. Okay. Oh, that would explain it. I'm not much into the board games, um, but, you know, copy, yeah. to each their own on their games. Compound, Juliet 675, um, 300 meters to your north. I'm more of a, uh, a risk on person myself. Hello, Wreath. No, Did no you just say I Risk, just Jack? Move there, yeah, we're talking about board games, so, you know, Risk, the board game. That's my board game of choice. Okay, fine. I'll <laughs> hand it to you. It looks like we're going to be uh, enclosing on an engagement towards the north side of the map soon. we got uh, Squad 2 from the U.S. forces. Going to run into Squad 3 from the insurgents in... Mm. Uh, Hotel 5. Yeah, Squad 2 of the U.S. forces is not doing yeah, a very good job of board, spreading it. No they are really clumped in there. Copy. Do not pin into the mosque. Especially when you look at Squad 3, who has really good spacing just south of them. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, you gotta cut them a little bit of slack, though. Especially if command so told them the to be north of that road, there's not a lot of space for them to be. It, uh, the That's terrain true. is really hindering their platoon's movements at this time. Are you set for us? At that point, I would be definitely okay. spreading them in a more three-dimensional uh, stagger the instead of right there on the wall. Point. I'd be having them spread out in that. Yeah, my uh, out the uh, there are two over there. You just want to take one. No, absolutely. You have they one fire team forward and the other one in re reverse. Okay, so they should be taking one transport, one logic. Not that main. Not main. They're already on All the right, air. Alright, thank you for the, the, uh, the rating there, Mob. Okay. Hopefully, we yeah, will continue to or... provide 5 out of 5 content. No, no, we're taking care of yours. Don't worry, Frost. Yeah, if you guys like and if you guys like watching this, you guys would definitely enjoy playing. So I would uh, check out squadoffs.gg for more information about how to sign up for the uh, these One Life operations. Got to get them plugs in there. Got to attract new blood. If this was a uh, Warhammer game, I'd be saying uh, blood for the uh, blood god and skulls for the skull throne. But sadly, we're not Warhammer, and this is squad. Yes, it's well four. There's no contact site on the islands that I'm scanning right now. Yeah, it looks like Lima Bean's moving up with Silver. Might be the first contact here with Swifts across the way from him. Yeah, the uh, insurgents have had, uh, haven't had seen anything yet. They have not seen any U.S. besides those initial Logi calls. Yeah. So they're about to get walked up upon right here. It's going to be pretty good. The U.S. forces are doing a pretty good job of keeping those lodgies back away from the front line. I think that was the issue when I first played a uh, escort was the lodgies were in the front line with the uh, pushing forces. A guardian right here leading his squad, squad three. He's going to be the first one to come into contact here with the insurgents if he keeps along this path. Uh, possible movement in Hotel 6 five. And we've got call out for possible movement Copy. hotel Hotel six five. Squad three taking And there's that shot. Was that Swift? Copy. I think that was Swift. Yeah, ruins. Swift takes so shots at Kerr and hits him, but Kerr pulls the bands out just in time. Your base of fire right now, Guardian. Frost see if you can maneuver north of That would have been a really good uh first kill there for the insurgents as Kerr is a two forty gunner. Yeah, that would have hurt. A lot of firepower from that thing. Guardian, if he's not careful, he's going to end up losing his head. 
Oh. I don't think he knows where that shot came from. He's looking no, he the didn't. complete wrong direction. Yep. I also heard a shot coming down from the south. We got more contact somewhere? Uh, they're calling ND from Squad 4 on the uh, side. Um, Dex Fork, you're free to occupy the bridge somewhere. Yeah, they here. still don't know that the entire US team is about to overwhelm Squad 3 right now. That is not being called out or communicated. Oh, that's not good. Our boy is moving south a bit to get some space. Do so as well. That's awesome to hear, Mobs. He says he signed up for the next SOTT and he's already in the Discord. It's good to hear. Oh, yeah. Enemy contacts. Um, H, 1, 2, 3. Copy, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the office. Probably not going to be me. It'll probably be Wilbur who will be uh, viewing you, but... Yeah. The more the merrier. And Rose calls a full squad to the north of him right now. Little does he know, it's a lot more than a squad. Oh, yeah. Hey, Frost. H523. H523, correct. Okay, Roger. I have contact west 100 meters of me. Uh, that is... If you've already done a SOT, um, Wreath, then I don't think you need to re-perform that. As long as you still have your account on the, uh, Squad Ops website, you should be able to sign up for an op. Um, as long as you get the appropriate tags on the Discord server. And Squad 4 has just been called out by the insurgent forces to the south. Squad 1, all the way down the south side, just called out a squad just south of the river, which is Squad 4 dick folks for the U.S. team. Ooh. And the insurgents, uh, Squad 3, is popping smoke, and uh, they are getting out of there. They realize there's a lot more than one squad, and they are pulling a retreat back right now. Oh, yeah. Though I would suggest, Wreath, if you're not too keen on your uh, abilities to follow oh, the right um, basic rules we we play by, I it is suggested to go and redo the SOTs okay. if you feel that you're not up to snuff on it. Honestly, it's not too hard to follow them. So I think you, you get the gist of it the moment you get back into it. Actually, I don't even think they do the, uh, they really go over the rules for an op during SOTS anymore, do they? You're asking the wrong person about that. Oh, no, I know. When I used to run the SOTTs, they were, uh, very brief on the rules and more on the mechanics and ideals of squad ops, such as bounding and talking guns, Yeah. working within a platoon. The more action-based things. I guess it makes sense. And it's a pretty good engagement so far. We haven't had any casualties. A couple, a couple in, injured troops, but uh, the insurgents successfully withdrew without taking any casualties. Oh yeah. As I eagerly await for the first blood. Oh, of course. So you can say. Uh... Mm-hmm. First blood. First blood. All right, Frost. The Guardian is in the ruins. See if you can keep maneuvering northward. Northward, come. Roger, moving northward. And there is Sergeant Guardian, Jackson with the uh, coming in to around. save my floundering butt right. on the SOT rules <laughs> or SOTT rules. Thank you very much, there, Sergeant. I think the insurgent team is so focused on this infantry that they still haven't called out the striker, which they can definitely hear from where it is now. Oh, yeah. They definitely should have been able to hear that, and that should have been communicated. Because there's a lot of insurgents still on the south side that have no reason to be there now. Yeah. Feeling. Is there really any contact going on down there at the south for uh, Squad 4 on the U.S. side between Squad 4 on the INS? Man, I got eyes on enemy roadblocks. A little bit. Uh, a, a fire team from Squad 4 has 
has uh, has trapped the U.S. forces just by that bridge now. There's not much cover for them, and they're uh, they're pinned down behind that compound. All right, I'm gonna slide on down there. It looks like the INS is just in a constant walk back up on the uh, northern side. I believe contact is in green. Yes, uh, squad three on the insurgent side is doing an Aussie peelback, as uh, <laughs> as they would say. An Aussie peelback. That's a, that's an interesting. Actually, no, I think I've heard that one before. I can't remember who I heard it from though. Oh, Sergeant Jackson wants to know who the commanders are for tonight. Uh, command tonight is for the U.S. side, Athel, and command on the INS side is Lundart. Takes folk, remember, we're not doing a fight on the southern bank. If you have to retreat. Copy, yep, I am on the... So Lundart's... Hey, making a plan of attack now he's gonna uh, he wants his squad two th three and four to hold and he's gonna send squad one along the south side of the map in a flanking maneuver to get in behind the u.s forces mm, that actually will be a good maneuver because the u.s forces have nothing on the south at least not past the river unless you want to count squad four who's just barely past the river So that's that's gonna be that could be crippling, depending on how the INS uh, handles it. No, definitely. There's no rear security at all. If they get in behind, they can do some serious damage to that striker, the U.S. force's biggest asset at the time. I'm not seeing a lot of movement though from the at least from my side. I can't see everything the INS does if they're outside my range from where I'm floating. Um, but it doesn't look like they're moving too fast. Oh, now I'm seeing it. You got a, uh, looks like they got a, what is that? An AR, a medic, and I'm hoping that's a lat moving down there on the south alongside a scout. Yeah, squad one's just bounding his, uh, fire team, his, uh, fire team by fire team along the south side of the map. They got, uh, I believe they have one times lat and one times hat, which is enough to take that striker out if they can get in behind squad four and one from the U.S. side. <laughs> yeah. Jackson, at least you got it right when you call him a Frenchman. I called him a German in one of the uh, um, streams. So. Nathal wasn't too happy with me when I said that. U.S. Force is making a nice push up here on the northern side. When are the uh, INS going to stop falling back, though? I believe they have decided to give up the the open field uh, grounds and pull back to a more defensible location. Where Squad 3 on the insurgent team is now is possibly one of the strongest locations for infantry on that part of the map. They have the two walls on either side uh, with the little river in front of it, and they're just looking at open fields. Yeah. So if the U.S. forces try crossing those fields on the north side of the map, they will have a huge disadvantage as the insurgents' ARs can just light them up. Yeah. Uh, mobs. So every now and then, and once in a blue moon, we do multi POV streams, but uh, generally we only do a one POV. It's just logistics for doing that is. A little difficult for the team we have, but uh, we try it every every chance we get. Right now, we just don't have that chance. I was actually talking to Silent the other day, and he said uh, they're currently doing redoing the power in his house, and once they're finished, he plans on running some more multi-screen uh, capabilities. Yeah, that could be fun. Oh, this could be bad. Soldier Wolfie and uh, Liberal Punt. This this crew that the uh, INS sent out is about to run into. Can you confirm the compound due northwest of me is clear? This is the closest I've seen anyone on either team get to each other, so. Northwest of you, I cannot. Actually, uh, leave. Oh, down goes. I just got fucking grazed. Are you good? 
Oh, Soldier Wolfie has just lost his buddy. Uh, no, uh, no, we cannot confirm it. that's clear or not. And we first blood goes to Daniel SMA with the kill <laughs> on Wolfie. No, not on Wolfie, on, uh... Oh, it's on... Oh, I can't pronounce it. Delshawn. Yeah, Delshawn. Yeah, Hunter, it depends on what's going on and who's running the, uh... The op that night for command. Um, an op can generally last somewhere between 25 yeah, to an okay, hour and 25 minutes. Clear. Depends on the map size, what's going on, and uh, how fast uh, people want things done. Up, plug the gap between the frost and or 8 minutes if I'm commanding back in 2018. Oh but, uh, lord. <laughs> we won't bring that up today. <laughs> oh boy. It looks Wolfie. like Soldier Wolfie. Yeah, he looks, it looks like he escaped back to... Uh, to his squad lead up there, though, uh, successfully. Alright, we're gonna peel back from him, and we're gonna go check what's going on over here. Got a lot of... small arms fire coming from this field, but doesn't look like... Yeah, we're gonna just have a complete... It's... They're... The INS... Come on, words worth me. <laughs> uh, it looks like the INS... Yeah, you're right. They're just gonna keep peeling back and back until they get back to their, uh, their defensive points, and then they're gonna hold it. There's really nowhere for them to really dig in effectively out in these fields. Yeah, I'm extremely disappointed that Squad 3 on the Insurgent side gave up their really strong position on the uh, that small stream that runs north to south. Yeah. Because now the U.S. forces are able to move uncontestedly up to that position. If they held that a little bit longer, because the insurgents, they haven't taken any casualties, right? So if, if they're able to just hold hold out longer and fight them for it, they would have the advantage. But it feels like they're just acting scared and just constantly pulling back and pulling back until they'll be against, until they'll be like their backs against the wall and they'll have nowhere to go. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Nice. It's like eighth. So far, excellent progress, guys. Let's keep it up. We are halfway there. Eighth will call on that we are halfway there. Oh, does he not know? And is that correct? The INS hasn't lost a single person yet? That is correct. The insurgents have not lost a single person yet. All right, so it looks like the U.S. is down by one person. That is it. Oh, All no, that... a second person was actually just killed. Uh, oh. Along the north side, Frenzy was just taken out by... Oh. He was taken out by Lego with the AR. Dang. Two people. I, just, I don't want to call anything yet. That's That doesn't generally mean anything. Alright, Ambo, Frost, you're set. Nah, two players doesn't mean anything. I've seen, I've seen somebody 1v14 before, so... It's anyone's game still. Yeah, it looks like Guardians got About contact G6 somewhere. G627. G627. That's oh, it looks like there's a mine directly in front of the striker here. Let's see if they see it in time. And they do. Viper swoops in to save the striker. That was that's pretty close. That's a little close for comfort in my opinion. Viper laying on the mine. Uh, south for a second till it's Good thing control. those things don't go off by uh, normal infantry feet. At least I don't think they do. Do they? No, they uh, they only go off if a vehicle goes over top of them. Darn. I think that's another thing that's not generally correct either. A mine is a mine. Oh, this is a magnetic mine. The field to the north. Okay. All right. So just to check, is the camp on the west of Adol Squad, Golf 632, clear? Uh, unsure. We'll... If this striker heads more north towards where Squad 3 and 2 are from the U.S. side, he will be able to see all the way to where all those insurgents are, and he'll be able to just light them up with the uh, 50 cal. Yeah, but if he sits up there, he'll also be in sight for lats and hats. Unless he hides behind a wall, at which then... 
Yeah, you know, that actually might work. Okay, Frost's quick still a, it's still a very hard last sense. shot from uh, pass, but... 300 plus meters on a striker. Oh, yeah. And it looks like the INS, while we were busy focusing on the north, have done their, their uh, northern or their southern wrap down there. Squad 4 is lone wolfing it against, what is that, three? Almost three squads worth of people? Yeah, that is correct. And Silent just takes out another U.S. soldier. So that is three down U.S. casualties and zero insurgent casualties. Oh, come on. That's right not now. even That's not even a surprise. Silent's a freaking eagle eye. Him and Bartok. Yeah, Silent with that MG is uh, one person I do not want to go up against in an operation. Oh, no. no, no. I need one guy for a truck driver. Okay. I'll come and do it. Cool. I'm trying to figure out what's going on over here with Dick's Folk, Lagar, and uh, Naked Mama Juju. <laughs> Looks like they're just continuing to move west with the platoon. Yeah. And Sergeant Jackson has prompted me to do something I should have probably done a while ago. Which, let me get the camera in a position that'll actually be effective to watch while I do it. I heard an explosion, and now I only see one U.S. Lodgy. Oh, no, there's a second. All right. They were saying that a potential Lodgy or Striker hit a mine, but can verify that no U.S. vehicles have been hit by mines as of yet. This has been some pretty good movement from both sides. The platoon movement has been very strong from the U.S. side, working together, and the insurgents have just constantly been falling back, falling back, slowly picking off the U.S. forces. But things are about to get real hot here as Squad 1 on the south side of the map from the insurgents is flanked behind the U.S. lines now. Yeah. With no rear security, the uh, U.S. soldiers are going to be in for a rude awakening. As Silent just takes out naked Mama Juju, and Dick Folks is down to what? Himself and and his medic, I think, left down there? Ooh, yeah, that is only Dick's Folk and his medic. And they are not in the best position. They are pretty open there on that riverbank. Just the uh, few rocks and the defilade to hide them. Poor Lagar. Uh, I feel sorry Frost, for him. So um, answering Mob's downstairs. question in stream chat. Uh, as far as I know, yeah, yeah, we don't separate, do right now, individual SOT courses. It's Three. just we generally do like one or two SOT courses every week. Um, it's just whether or not you have the time to be able to do them or not. That's once again something I'll have to direct towards uh, Sergeant Jackson for the uh, SOC management. And unless they've changed it, uh, the way it used to be too is if if the, the regular times did not work for you, if you got a group of about eight or nine people together and contacted the SOT team, they could try and set up a impromptu time. but. That'd be a Sergeant Jackson question again. Ooh, and it looks like Dick Folks. Oh, he survived. He had about a millisecond left before he finished that bandage, and he would have bled out, but he survives, and his medic will heal him back to full. Oh, dang. That could have been real bad, as uh, Squad 1 for the Insurgents is now completely behind the U.S. Uh, platoon. 
All right, no change of plans. Um, I have a super awesome Yeah, we got squad, Frost on so, command here. Um, we're clear on the first part of the compound, clearing the second part now. Coffee. If Athel's not careful, they're going to move up I right on him. My guys are hungry. Uh, yeah, as far as I can tell. Direct south, they may try to drown and flank us from the eastern. It looks like Dick's Folk is already making a suggestion uh, that they Dick's may be coming Folk, from the east. In the building to your north right now. Yeah, and at this point in the operation, uh, when you are you have a lot of guys dying on the south side of the map, as command, you got to realize that the enemy team is going to be flanking you. And you just really need to either have that striker come back or have some people pull security, Brilliant. something. That command right now for the U.S. team is just all on his loan zone. If he gets taken out, it's going to be disarray. Now, what just blew up over here? Copy. We're all holding where we are right now. We need to consolidate and figure out what they're doing to our Uh, C4 from Fulcrum, the engineer on the first roadblock. First roadblock is going down right now. All right. On my way to get in a line oh, here. there's an I. It looks like there's an IED on this roadblock, but I do yeah, not see it anywhere. The right. They see may the have blown I up. They may have oh. blown it up with the uh, C4. No oh, I did not know that was possible. But you may be right, as I still see it on the map, but I cannot find the actual IED. I just trained to count, Dick Polk. I'm in your squad. And I down goes see, Dick, Dick folks. Yeah, there uh, are three there are guys in this compound south of Yeah. INS coming right up behind the uh, lodges. That's not good. Oh no, Dick folks managed to make it out. He survived. I thought he was dead in the river, but he's actually uh in the compound to the north about to get walked up upon by uh by yeah, squad no. one behind them. If this Dix Folk gets on the uh, backside of that compound, they might be able to see Boogie and his team moving up behind the river. Squad four northeast of your position, 50 meters. Oddball's looking back though. I think he's got a squad small four. inkling of what's going on. Dix Folk northeast of you, right? Now. That's uh, three out of the five U.S. leadership are uh, very lightly defended here behind the lines, so. Uh, yep. I could looks, be really bad. Yeah, it looks like uh, Aethel just called out for Dick's Falk Northeast really close. So Aethel is going to see if he can get that that uh, their one only Lodgy left uh, oh, out of there. Why would you full auto Dick, folks? <laughs> that was a, uh, a little far range for the full auto as he throws a grenade. That's a pretty good grenade. Let's see if it takes Wolfgang out. No, he manages to survive and bandage up. What's your thoughts, Killer, on the blast radius of grenades in the current game? With or without the uh, ops mod? Let's say with and then without. What are your What are your opinions on them? Without, I think it's a little OP. With, I think it's a little underpowered. Oh, so you'd like to see something more in the middle? Something, yeah. But then again, I also think our mortars for uh, for the op are a bit tame. I'm literally right. There's a ton of enemy vehicles. Oh, okay, great. It's probably a vehicle spawn point. Don't worry about. Oh, and uh, the trans truck that uh, the U.S. team abandoned takes a lot to the engine from uh, the Daniel SMA. Just gonna make sure the uh, U.S. can't come back and reuse that as a uh, option. Gotta disable what they can. Oh, and the first casualty for the ins uh, for the insurgents team is actually a squad lead, squad lead four. Ooh. First death, the first and only death right now is a uh, squad lead four. How did they manage that? Squad four is all the way down there. Yeah, they uh, when the squad lead died, they pulled back into hiding. Echo seven three nine in contact south of my position. That's oh. what happens when uh, you lose command of your squad and they. Uh, players don't understand what's fully under going on. I assume that they thought they were going to be attacked once the squad lead died. But well, uh, Mondarts is trying to redirect them now. I found my answer to that uh, question. As uh, Block says in stream chat, 50 cal hertz. Ooh. Block, you should know better than to challenge a 50 cal with your face. Come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, 
And it looks like the U.S. is just... It's been surrounded. They're being pushed from the rear, and they're being held in the front. Now, I would really like to see Squad 4 from the Insurgents move straight north to fully no. complete that encirclement. That they be did not. Okay, no, they didn't. I was going to say, it kind of looks like they got the uh, logistics truck, their one and only logistics truck, stuck. But, uh, I think it's okay. Yeah, and, uh, there goes the U.S.'s logistics trucks behind the line. The insurgents IED'd it. So down goes one times Logi. And they could have just popped the tires. That would have been fine, too. To assist you, you definitely need to get that striker in the action. We need to retrieve that second Logi. You gotta have some, uh, self... Confidence block. You gotta say a pretty face attracts all the bullets. Yes, he needs to come and assist us to the east. Yeah, squad four on the insurgent team moves into the compound south of the US team in Fox 724. They will completely have boxed in the US team. And that would be uh, interesting to see what the US does to fight out of this uh, entrapment. Oh okay, yeah. Squad two, squad three, work with what you have got. What is um, Fulcrum yeah, doing? Why? Push that orchard, uh, squad. Just crawling through the field towards the enemy line. Keep up the communication. Oh, it's and it looks, east, it so looks like Ethel is dead. I do not see him anywhere. It looks like U.S. command has been killed. Oh, I did not see that happen. Can you verify that? I do not see him. Is there anything in command chat? Uh, it looks like, yep, Ethel is dead. That is a dead command for the U.S. side. I think next in line would have been Guido. And down goes Sir Laughs a lot. Fal Fulcrum with the shotgun just putting rounds into that bush manages to uh, take out the guy straight south of him. Uh, Fulcrum and Daniel here doing a little a crawling dance here. Oh, Fulcrum sees him. <laughs> Shotgun. That Down goes Daniel. Is it shoot slugs or buckshot? I think it shoots buckshot. No, it shoots slugs. That sounds like a lot of fun. Because I remember using it during uh, my advanced sight. And they told us to shoot at a truck that was downhill from us. I'm like, it's a shotgun. But it worked. Let's see what's going on. Arm on the front line. Oh man, yeah, the U.S. forces are getting real thin here. There's not much of a front line. <laughs> no, no, there's not. There's uh, we got four four dead insurgents compared to the uh, twelve 11, dead U.S. Eleven dead U.S. Yeah. Is it eleven or is it three? Hold what you've got. Uh, if you look at the the yeah, downs yeah. and kills from the other team. Yeah, you're right. Because normally some people you know, spawn at the wrong places and have to suicide to get in position. We could say Sergeant Jackson has definitely outsmarted uh, Athel's team in this one. Lunda, I, you mean. I, yeah, Lunda. <laughs> sorry, Sergeant Jackson has just been brought up a lot during this stream. Let's go. We've got the Logi. Let's go back west. We're trying to push to the objective. Looks like Oddball is going to try and take the Logi back west. Okay. Squad 2, you've got northern security on the road. Squad 3, you've got southern and security. And you can't, you can't hear the insurgent comms, but uh, my bi this is my biggest gripe with squad ops Trading operations, is the miscommunication fed from a squad lead to the commander. Oh, right yeah. now, the... Squad 1 Alpha Guido is saying that the majority of the US forces are are engaging him. That they're all, he says the whole US team is basically stopped where they are and engaging them. So that information passed to the commander. The commander has to make decisions and based off what we're looking at here, looks like the majority of US forces are 300 meters away pushing the rest of the team. So. It yeah. just—I I feel like that happens a lot, you know. Somebody sees one person and they call a full squad. 
So those of you who are watching, accurate information is key to squad ops success. Also, never deal in absolutes. Copy. I'm I'm engaging. It's another in right very now, good point. I try to run out in the open. Then <laughs> Sergeant Jackson, uh, always there, no matter what. Yeah, not much left of the U.S. forces at this, at this juncture. Just contact that Orchard Squad 2 and 3, please engage. 4, I need your striker to uh, my position currently. I need the striker to my position. Yes, yeah, so the commander told Squad 1 to just hold up and harden up because, like I said, they said they were being attacked by a lot of U.S. forces. So now you have this entire squad behind lines in a perfect position of flanking, which are now 600 meters out of the way because of miscommunication. Um, oh, yeah. But yes, it's probably better to Okay, also, ABCs in Lin 9 SOTT. Uh, Accurate, area. brief, and we'll clear for communication. And it looks like moving and link up with you now. the US Lodgy and Striker are going to bypass. No, no, I'm seeing some INS line movement adjusting for where the Lodgy truck is going. Have they called out the Lodgy truck at all? Yes, they called the engines are going south. They're trying to quickly shift forces to deal with that. Yeah. They need to do it fast. You got any lats or hats left up? Pull back out there, you can. Oh, definitely. There's uh, there's uh, there's one LAT basically about to engage the striker directly in front of him. Quantum. Quantum. This is not good. Echo 739, right? Who, who made the call to do this? Because that was an extremely smart decision by whoever made that call on US side to go south. Uh, it was Oddball. And Oddball just probably lost the Lodgy. LAT missed the striker and took out the logistics. Uh, I don't know if he was aiming for that, but. Uh, I think he was aiming decision. for the logistics. Because at the end of the day, the logistics, as long as they can stop both of them from reaching there, it becomes a more of a hunt down instead of a... a uh... Yeah. Personally, I would have t uh, tried to take the engine out on the striker, but... Uh, Quantum gets taken down. There's no LAT on the south side of the river now, so uh, that striker is going to be uncontested for a little bit. Yeah, but he's got, I think, like five more LATs. Depending if people haven't wasted them shooting them at uh, people. Bartok. Yeah, this is just turning into a cluster for the uh, U.S. forces. In more than one way, too. U.S. forces just not spreading at all. I can see two places in here where they could toss a grenade and take out at least two or three people. Get in here and see if I can catch any uh, target location. Tell your guys is Delta eight local nine one. Okay, Delta eight nine one. And it looks like the striker crewmen are repairing the engine on the logistics trucks right now. So that logistics truck yeah. is going to be just below half HP, but it's going to be able to okay. drive at 75% speed. Do you want me, you want me to take security. the guys I've linked up with and head uh, just south of Long River? Like which honestly, in this situation now, wouldn't be a bad idea for the U.S. to just mount up and try and bypass, get deep behind enemy lines. Oh yeah. You, know, you, you run into a brick wall, try and try and get your forces down behind that brick wall. And it looks like we've got one of. Oh yeah, I got the INS coming straight east from the uh, U.S. forces on the other side of the river. And they've already been called out. 
Yeah, it looks like well, the uh, U.S. Force is trying to move as fast as they can. Let's see not if Dickfolk well. able to uh, come in behind them and uh, engage that, that insurgent flank. Phil Nye barely making it. A better bandage. Nope, didn't make it. I'm surprised Oddball made it through there. Nightmare probably could have lit him up and took. Never mind, I said his name. <laughs> Down goes Oddball with the last logistics truck. Hey, is it just And there I'm goes the striker engine. I'm just gonna start pushing my guys Fully, or is it? So I don't think they got it completely. I think Deer is gonna see if he can. Oh, down goes Deer. Oh, that's not good. Another hit. I think it's only gonna be one more, and that thing's gonna go down. How do you. Who shot that? Is that Sully? That you? Ada making a, a big mistake here, getting out of the striker. That striker is currently abandoned. There's no reason that he should be out trying to repair it. He should be in there on the gun right now. Yeah. At this point, it's a lost cause no matter what, but at least it'd be a lost cause shooting back at the enemy forces. Yeah, going down with the, the boat, so to say. I don't know, I think 13 Deer was uh, was the captain of that vessel. This is just the crewman. And looks looks like Dick folks has actually just walked past a full fire team of insurgents directly to his north. Let's see if uh if uh, Rose Dragon's gonna walk up behind him. Down yeah, goes Dick's Rose Dragon. Dragon. Hollering out at uh, why is it? <laughs> why is your bottom in the middle? He's peeking a hole in the wall right here. Is this squad? They are. Oh, down goes bottom. Not sure who that was by. Who got him? Well, Dix Flux is on his own over there. You guys forced to get it picked apart over here on the. East side, south side. And Dick Folks has been killed. RIP Dick Folks. Oh dear. We've also lost Guardian, another command. The US side. So we've lost April. Like Frost Oddball is and... the only. Yep. Frost is the only one left. And it looks like the striker is back up and rolling. Ooh, Viper not choosing the best position to just crouch and shoot. I would have at least taken it up on the wall there. Striker still going, but smoking at the same time. We've got uh, Jack and Chicken up here. Alright, I'm gonna watch our rear. Uh, pr problem is we gotta work. Let's just let's go all the way north and around. Oh, chicken. Hey, Frost, where are we Taking going? shots from Wolfgang and Alpha Guido. I'm still not oh, going for a 30%. Yeah, yeah. yeah so like. Hey, you, if, you, if you see where I'm at, come to me, man. Let's just push this shit, bro. I guess it's the third name. I'm gonna <laughs> smoke. And as a frost uh, does, what a frost does is, uh, right, do you wanna hop the strike we'll make the simplest of commands. Sound very odd. Yeah, come to me. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. 
And just gonna to push to this to shit. Roger that. Be advised, I'm on 20. 25. Down goes Insurgent Command. Ooh. Yeah. Frost takes him out. Finally? Uh, Ooh, down goes Chicken. Oh shit. Damn, I fucking hate it. Come on. Poor Jack. I don't I see any... Oh, Wolfgang? Yeah, Wolfgang looks to be the only remaining... LAT person with their rocket still, and he's a hat kit, so one of those and that striker goes bye bye. Wolfgang is was hunting Jack, and Jack is now gone. Ooh, oh, down goes the striker. Down goes the striker. Who got him? Hey, we got contact to our southwest. Oh, Fredericton from the river. Fred Fredericton, I assume. He has a lat kit, but uh. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the only one that had the eyes on him, unless it was Sully. I keep thinking it's Sully, but I don't think Sully's a lat or Oh, hat. uh, Raggy. Yeah, Could've been Raggy. 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 Raggy's- Oh, Ray was Raggy. Raggy's a hat kit. Okay, and that would've been it. You got that looks like what Southwest. we got. Frost and... Sasa999 left. Oh boy. The, the last two. Sasa and Frost. Oh, I gotta get in for some local comms on this one. Cover our rear field where we came from. Okay. All right, so I had like five guys come out from the creek bed north towards I think us. It's southwest. So I'm gonna assume they're gonna be over there, or they're gonna be west. We lost Bravo team to my southwest. We we're moving south. On me, on me, on me, guys! Oh no! I'm pushing. One SL down. Oh no. Gee, that is the last it's US so force destroyed. Yep, that oh, is yeah, GG for round one. We will be back shortly for round two. Go grab a drink, do something, and we'll be right back. Convoy. Oh, All right, uh, and. Looks like the U.S. is about to start their platoon brief, and we will focus in on that as we watch all the greenies funnel out of their little hidey holes. Look at all those lemmings. I need TP for my bunghole. Yeah, high five, Papa Lon. Here you go. <laughs> nice butt. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to uh, Operation Jackal. Obviously, in the first round, we got to be the windshield. This round, we get to be the bugs. We're performing a convoy mission. Uh, we have organized a lease on a certain piece of real estate. I'm going to mark on the map in Delta 894. Our mission is to convoy there and establish a combat outpost for some engineers that we bring along with us. The way we're going to do that is follows. We'll be leaving at main uh, in convoy, heading a route along these five markers. I don't think they can see the five markers. The five markers? Oh, you guys can't see the five markers. All right, uh, helmets. So we're taking a route along these helmets with the convoy. So a southern route, we're going to have two infantry squads. Guido squad will be to the west of the convoy, clearing the road for mines, being western security. North of him across the river will be block squad. Block squad will have a lot of work to do. I uh, suspect he'll probably be in a 1v2 situation in terms of uh, strength of forces. He'll be fending off them, uh, trying to flank us from the north. Rosa Squad will be taking care of our logistics vehicles that we need to get to Delta 894. He'll be in the rear, and in between all that will be the striker with Squad 2. Is it Squad 2 this time around? Yeah, Crossy Squad. Uh, Crossy Squad will be obviously uh, providing security south southwest of the striker as the convoy rolls. Now, expect a heat contact, expect it to be gruesome. Uh, key thing here is how we react to the contact. Um, once we come into contact, let's try and get accurate callouts and where it is, suppressive fire on it, uh, get into cover, try and deal with that enemy position, and then we'll keep the convoy rolling. 
Now, if we happen on the off chance to lose our logistics trucks before we cross the Foxtrot Gulf, our exfil location is Hotel 743, marking on the map now. So if all your leadership is dead and you don't know where to go and we don't have any lodgy trucks, you fall back to, or you push to, depending on when it happens on the map, to Hotel 743. If we still have our lodgy trucks, we're trying to get to the merchant's compound to send out our compound outpost in Delta 894. Any questions? Is the MP5 any good? Uh, depends. Last time I used it, it was fucking amazing. Unless they changed it. Anyway, squad leaders, check them out. Uh, we'll get the convoy lined up. Have fun, guys. Yolanda, hey, I love you. Fuck you. All Even right. You and that is the U.S. briefing. And uh, we overheard Chicken claiming he's going to kill 17 U.S. soldiers to uh, to please his commander, Aethel. So uh, <laughs> let's see if we can hold him to that, Chicken. Oh, boy. And we are live. Let's see what the uh, INS does with this forward group here. Just a reminder, vehicles must use... Oh man, they're making a deadline run for the it. Big Infantry has no restrictions on movement. This uh, elite... Or should I say, I'll say, uh, not elite, special insurgent squad. You mean the uh, Roman Orc Chicken and Dash B squad alongside uh, yeah. in the middle? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. The, uh, they are very special forces pushing forward to engage the enemy. I think the only person they're missing from uh, from that is... China Man, if I go down... Uh, frenzy. One, two, three... Then you have the whole squad there. Yeah, throw Lima, Lima Bean into the mix too, and you got some real special forces troops there. It depends when where when you're talking, Sergeant Jackson. Did you teach me the first go around or the second time? Uh, the first time, which was back in 2018, I didn't really stick around for. I think it was you. My second time around, I don't think it was you. I think it was. I think I had a. Oh, who was it? I can't remember his name. When I was might... this? 2018? 2018 was my first time doing a SOT. That was never... probably me. <laughs> no, no, probably not. I didn't stick around. Um, I didn't stick around. I think I went through like one op and then it, it's just kind of I couldn't get back to doing it. So I kind of fell out and then I came back a year later. Yeah, there was a four-month period where I taught every SOTT in uh, 2018, so... Did you teach one in November? Probably. <laughs> it was a... Uh, we were a little short staff back then. Yeah, I remember. Uh, no, I don't think it was you. I think it, I think it was Jackson. He might be right on that one. I think he did teach my first one. But, um... My second time through was either Wilbur or, um... My guys may have seen contact at Mosque, not confirmed. I feel horrible because I cannot up, remember uh, yeah, who the other streamer was. Roger. I want to say Bartok, but that's not the right name. Much. Anyway. Command squad three. Who was uh, that? Looks like Chicken uh, might get his wish right here as there's a, uh, a full squad within, uh... 100 meters of him. Yeah, so it's to walk also. right on top of him. Boogie's gonna be wishing he uh, had stayed as the co-commentator. Contact southwest in the uh, in the combat door direct southwest. I don't know who started firing at him without. Oh, they got Wolfgang. Okay, I see it. Down goes Boogie. Down goes Boogie. Squad three, I need you to push as far west as you can and get a good spread north. To yeah, south. you're right, Sergeant. It wasn't Wilbur. It was someone. Who was it? B car. There we go. Hey, Command, we are in a bad spot here. I need some. I need some. Now get that bump striker up here. 
and Chicken takes two of them out, but then goes down. So his uh, 17 kill promise for the uh, for the commander was a uh, a fable. He tried. That's all that counts. <laughs> he got he got two or three of them. So he got three of them. It looks like not two of them. Roman Orc got another one. So yeah, much different change of pace compared to the last one. Some early, oh, yeah. early contact. We went about 30 minutes last time without anyone dying. I have, uh, I've lost two so far. And we've already lost Perfect. two on the U.S. Three. side. Three, three dead on the U.S. It looks like. Yeah. We got smoke. They're possibly trying to pull out. Roger three. If you can cut off with your western element, that would be awesome. I, mean, I could be wrong on that, Sergeant Jackson. I know B car trained me for my advanced SOT, which y'all don't do anymore. Or at least not seldomly. Um, Enemy fire team. I can't remember who did me on the basic. It might have been you. Were you around for the uh, initial fire team lead? course the FTL and the uh, back in 2018 well. back in 2018 I probably was around for it but I didn't do it um, and then when I came back in I remember, beginning yeah. of 2020 <laughs> no beginning of yeah it was like the end of 2019 I came back um, yeah no all that all that extracurricular certs was all gone by the time I came back to get set up to your oh yeah, the uh, the first time we ran FTL, it took five hours. I think. That was uh, four and a half, five hours. So yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a good thing those aren't uh, around anymore. Probably. And it looks like uh, Squad Three did some damage, killed three U.S. soldiers, lost one of their own, and did a little Aussie peel back. And uh, now we got well, a uh, U.S. forces are uncontested until. What is that? Grid line I and H? Hotel India. Yeah. Yeah. The right, Hotel so India grid line. Uh, potentially they're going to be in Moss next. So I, have, I might have a military uh, alphabet printed out in front of me, but it doesn't mean I remember it's there. Okay, we're set. Pushing striker up to my location. of them are. This round hunter has been going on for about is there only two of us? eight minutes. Uh -huh, there is. Yeah. We're in the uh, we're in round two now. Yeah. Overall, the stream has been going for about an hour and thirty one minutes now. Sandbag inside a mosque, but I'm not quite sure if it's a sandbag or not. So I think the first round lasted for an hour twenty. I don't know if anyone's cleared that one. Negative, we have not. I'm sending what's left to my Bravo fire team to sweep and clear it. He was probably flailing around like an idiot anyway. We got cont. And it looks like Phil Nye has possibly called out contacts to their southwest. I think he. You know what he was getting yelled at for? He was acting like an idiot. Fair enough. Uh, I heard someone call out contacts, but I don't think uh, there's actually anyone there. There's a large amount of space between the U.S. forces and the INS right now. The insurgents right now they set the they've set the first roadblock up in Gulf Six and they're setting the second one up in Gulf Eight now on the south side. Pretty much identical spots in the first round. Well, I mean, they're not bad spots. They just weren't. No, yeah, they weren't bad spots. They actually worked per 
pretty well. I'm Except for that, right the uh, northern like the one. Probably fucked off. It was most likely just a buddy team with an AR. Yeah, and, uh, there's a little miscommunication down uh, between Frost and, and Command on the uh, third team now. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, I thought Frost was on... Frost was on the U.S. side. Or are you talking about now? I'm talking about right now. Right oh. now, there's, uh, <laughs> there's uh, some miscommunication going on. They have misplaced a logistics truck, which is two feet away from Fulcrum. The, uh, but Frost does not know where it is. <laughs> oh, that's right, because they can't see the... No, they should be able to see the vehicles on the map. Yeah, they should be able to see them. Okay. I think Frost has had one too many. I think he's had a few too many. <laughs> or if we actually go by uh, how well he plays, um, he's had one too less. Probably needs to pop like two or three more. Well, he's uh, trying to he's trying to figure out what uh, what an oil drum wall is now. So. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> Oh, Frost. And see, this is why I didn't want to drink the scotch before the round. Because then I'd be doing that. Except for I'd have control over the camera. And slurring. Which, I mean, by default, I do that enough. Yeah, I've, uh... The weather's been changing up here in the great, in the great white north, and uh, it's come down with a little bit of a little bit of a cold. Now that the uh, the summer weather has uh, gone, so I apologize if I sound stuffed up. Eh, you sound fine. Maybe, I don't know. As long as you don't start hacking a loogie on uh, on stream, we're fine. <laughs> Definitely not. I have manners. Good. Good. All right, we're in. Uh, and we just gotta wait now. Since they took early contact, the U.S. platoon's gonna be moving real slow, worried that they'll be hiding in certain forces. But uh, well, they're doing it proper. They've got feelers out forward. They don't have entire uh, teams. No, some really good platoon movement right now. The squad oh, yeah. leads are doing a really good job. Microing their squads it looks really good. Let's focus on our Mr. Wilbur over here on the U.S. side. What's he doing? Right, what are they doing? Wilbur has a shotgun. Oh, no. Oh, no. Focus on with your infantry. The southern element you have is handy. India 7-5. Honestly, I think I used the shotgun once in the squad, and I did not like it. I feel sorry for anyone that gets stuck with that gun. I wouldn't mind using it. It sounds like it would be fun. It might be a good sweeper for if you're in close range, but what if you're stuck in long distance? Oh yeah, you're uh, your SOL. Um. Oh yeah. And get eyes on Hotel Six Five Six. Solid copy, Hotel Six Five Six. All right, command. No eyes on anything from what I can see from uh, Moss Tower for right now. Frost is uh, Frost is <laughs> microing his squad in command chat, and uh, all the squad leads are yelling at him. It's the uh, wrong comms, but he's 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 not stopping. Oh jeez, Frost is going <laughs> to end up with a rapper man by the end of the night. I know it. Okay, moving southwest. We're going to be checking the compound at India 755. Uh, I had partial eyes on the FOB at India 677, northwest of 3. I did not see any movement there from uh, my location. Roger. All right, so it gets quite cramped for squad 1 and 2. So 1, you're going to be on the south, obviously, map edge-ish. And 2, you're going to be clearing the uh, route. Squad 4. Um, once two's declared gas station clear, we're going to move the um, lodgy trucks up to there. Cut. Okay. 
I really want them to add in smooth movement for the uh, admin cams. Yeah, there's uh, definitely some admin tools. Uh, that they could be. Yeah. I don't know if you follow the competitive scene of squad at all, but uh, an Australian man made a competitive uh, mod, and in that mod uh, was a bunch of casting tools, which were really cool. I think uh, uh, Silent was talking to me about some of those, and I think the only reason they weren't on the server is uh, Pony didn't quite want it. I think it, it didn't mesh properly with uh, the squad mod, squad ops mod. That's unfortunate. Uh, there's some really, really cool features. Uh, when vehicles are driving, the admin cam can, uh, can lock, onto, lock onto it. Yeah, oh, that would make it so much easier. And you Instead can just uh, press F on uh, any person, and uh, the camera will follow that person. And if you press F again, it will open what their POV is. Mm. Yeah, it's unfortunate OWI doesn't implement some stuff like that. That would make uh, these operations look a whole lot cooler on uh, on stream level for sure. Yeah, they're focused on more of the game aspect than they are the streaming aspect. I guess the streaming will come later when they think they've reached a point in development that uh, doesn't require their entire focus on... Uh, no, definitely. Uh, optimization and content yeah. is definitely a priority for them. I gotta say, though, since I started playing in the last year, the optimization for this game we has definitely contact, stepped up. Uh, there was a... Buddy team in the building at India 873. Definitely okay, some uh, issues them. with some of the updates, though. And it looks like Jenkins just took India down my uh, bottom in the middle. Yeah, that was a uh, really nice shot by Jenkins. He was an, an automatic rifleman, didn't bipod, from the shoulder, just fired a burst and was able to uh, to kill that guy on the south side. Oh yeah. Now I wonder if Jenkins is going to actually go after Dashby. I don't know if he's seen him. Dashby's doing a pretty good job of staying in the deflator. Once you've got that cleared out, I'd like to proceed to Hotel 642, Hampton. Yeah, mobs. So if we did implement that, and I'm sure Silent will bring it up again at some point with the uh, mod dev team, but um, if we did implement it, that would definitely be a boon to uh, multi POV streams, Ooh, I heard somebody which would be handled by Silent or anyone that has the uh, has the uh, SMTP uh, servers set up to handle that it would definitely be an increase in production quality for squad ops as a whole and another really cool feature that i personally would like to see uh in for the admin tools for the one life ops is um i know some people are against it is that it's actually it's kill feed so it uh lets you know who's taking you out from admin cam you can see like it's, there's no kill feed if you're just playing but uh yeah when you're watching back the stream it's uh you know sometimes you're like i wonder who got me like it would just tell you right away even the even the option for it to tell you the name when you die or go down tells you who took you down would be fantastic because then you know who you can be mad at for the next week yeah, Boogie could be uh, yelling at Chicken right now. Yeah, Jenkins trying to take out Dashby. Dashby getting away. But some people want that, some don't. It's that's an up there. As I said, it's it's mod team's decision on what they want to add in, what they don't, and currently we're having enough issues getting our own mod functioning with all the updates that have been rolled out. I don't even think, are, we're not even using our mod right now for this op. No, we definitely are. There's uh, no shotguns in the base game. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. 
Contact West, contact West, contact West. One for additional. Roger. Uh, enter good uh, cover. Wait for three to push to further west before we uh, start moving further. It looks like uh, the U.S. are getting flanked again. There's a repeat of round one, but just the opposite side of the map. We've got Oddball going around the north side. They're coming Maybe in behind the U.S. forces here. Contacts at Hotel 743. Repeat, Hotel 743 to your southwest. Over. Thanks, receive. Command for squad one. Go ahead. Is the road clear to your northwest? Close? Uh, so far. Oh, another another uh, really good thing in the uh, that 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 admin tool mod is uh, you can double click on the map and it will teleport your camera. It's on big oh, maps, you don't have to go flying around. Yeah, that'd be a super helpful. You know, you just double click on on the action here and double click back and you just teleport over. So you know, if you want to see that, make sure to contact your uh, local mod representative and uh, write a letter to them and. Uh, <laughs> Just don't spam them with it. I don't. We don't need losing more mod, mod devs. <laughs> I think we're. Looks like we have a pretty good firefight down here on the south side of the map. Oh yeah. Sadly, it's it's once again long distance. Nothing really close up, and they're kind of just lobbing lead at each other without really knowing where the other contact is. Yeah, it looks like Wilbur and Daniel are about to walk up on Dashby though here in about uh, 10 seconds. Command, we're taking contact with the uh, northwest, at least a squad. They both have shotguns. We got two shotgunners on the south side of the map going up against Dashby with an AK, I think. Be non security for two. Yeah, I don't even. I <laughs> I can't. It looks like we got the U.S. forces on the northern side getting real close to Dick, not Dixvolt, uh, Lagar. Well, Dixvolt just got taken out, yeah. So, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like Head has taken over Dixvolt's squad. Contact in Hotel Seven. That he called out to his west. Is Frost still trying to give commands to his uh, squad through command chat? <laughs> Frost has been pretty quiet. I haven't heard. Uh, haven't really heard anything, but uh, he's about to get walked up upon. Now we got. Fredrickson and Gonzo guy. All right, squad four, go ahead and move the logi truck south towards squad one. I want you to uh, hold up in India seven one four. Yeah, it looks like we've got some people coming up behind uh, Block F-16 squad here. Some of that uh, group that went up and around to get behind the U.S. forces. Command, we got a good elevated position down here. If we can maybe get a oh, their block. spacing is not the greatest. No. They're about to get pinched right here really hard. I'm sending another squad guy. And I'm it looks like Wilbur went up. down. So I think Daniel SMA is the only one left of the top near Dashby. Dashby about to take him out. Daniel running. Dashby chasing. Daniel shooting the shotgun like no tomorrow. Dashby still trying to take down Daniel. Daniel just reloaded his shotgun. Going for Guardian. Guardian's down. So is Tinkerbell. And down goes Daniel by... Dashby. That's uh, some awesome work Daniel just did there with the shotgun, though, for sure. Taking out that squad leads a big, big job. Oh, yeah. Just put a lot of fire down on them, discourage them from holding the ground. Command, be advised, my squad has been 
decimated. We if, got uh, so, oh, it looks like, uh, if, uh, uh, looks like if squad five from the surgeons pushes down, they would really catch squad three from the U.S. here at, uh, that compound north of the bridge, and that would not be good. It's, honestly, it might be a good idea, but if we were to do it, it'd be a bum rush, and I have not checked this road for mine. Command, this is 318. Go ahead, three. Yeah, we're taking contact uh, to our northwest in Hotel 681 and also in Hotel 659. Man, it looks like Frost is coming into some CQB action here with the striker on the side. Oh, it looks like Frost is actually yeah, dead. And, uh, what did that happen? Not sure, but, uh... Yeah, this, uh... Looks like uh, Beefy is taking, taking over for time. Frost. We can. Beefy's gonna lose his head soon with the, uh, uh, striker yeah. sitting outside that wall. Ooh, spacing! I keep saying it. Spacing. Three U.S. soldiers down with one lat shot. Alright, we've lost squad two. I'm not sure if we've still got the striker or not. Striker still up. Uh, it looks like Frenzy was aiming for the striker and uh, missed. They uh, face blocked it. One, lodges are on quad four's present position. Uh, they're ready for you when you're. Solid copy. Copy. Uh, I'll move south to secure them once you push up. Beefy the doing work right now, but he might bleed out if he doesn't get that bandage out. Yeah, it looks like the striker has finally put a bead on the top windows. And takes out WG. WG just laying there on the stairs. Thinking he's uh out of sight of that gun. And the uh, striker sends him to the spawn screen with the 50 cal round straight to the head. Again. Alright, Roger 3. If you can focus on the guys to your northeast. Don't let them get around behind us. Squad 2, situation report. Squad 2 has contacts at H7 4 3 in the compound. We are currently holding for reinforcement. Is the striker still up? Beefy is a medic yeah, over here on the south side, but he's yeah, not he healing himself right. for some reason. He has. Roger. He's red on health right now, but he. Uh, I don't know if he knows that he's a medic. Possibly has just forgotten. Yeah, yeah, uh, command, they are flanking around the east side, trying to come up behind our convoy. We're squad 3 has called out the uh, INS flanking maneuver. Yeah, I say squad 5, I'm in squad 3. Yeah, as a uh, block is taken out from behind. Squad 2, if you can try and get the striker to squad 1 force position, you might need to drive through contact at 3's coming. Down goes Hamdog. Looks like there's only three people left from squad three. We got, uh, Phil Arthur, Nine, Nightmare, and Arthur. Arthur. Position, yeah. You're gonna be Aether. Three. So do the best you can to support him, but don't get, uh, laddered on your way to, uh, squad one. Oh, be nice if... Copy. There is Why do the medics have to have the weird names? It's not gonna have it. Liberal the pundit the feels attacked right now. <laughs> Liberal pundit is probably sitting there with a bucket of of uh, wine next to him, not caring. Where is liberal pundit? I know he was in here. Which South side of the map. He's uh, U.S. side by squad one. Oh boy. He's in the lodgy. He's in the lodgy actually. <laughs> he found a safe place. And the striker is moving up on the flanking. Ooh, lat out, misses the striker. By about 300 meters. <laughs> yeah. I hope you caught that on camera. Fulcrum. I did, it went straight we're gonna, we're gonna past have him. To, we're going to have to have a talk about that one. Actually, it wasn't too bad. It's The striker was on the bend. And as soon as he started turning, Fulcrum shot. 
Two, zero. Okay, I just saw the rocket land 300 meters behind it. So. Yeah, no, it, it skimmed <laughs> the side of the, uh, Keep in mind, I got the, of the striker. So he almost had it, so he, he gets off there. And, uh, Frost's squad has been completely wiped off the map. They're all down. And this is nothing against Frost, but that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> and it looks like uh, squad 3 on the US side, block squad, is almost completely wiped off the map as well. They are uh, down to, it looks like, yeah, just three of them caught out in the open river. Let's see if uh, these insurgents can walk up and finish them off. Copy. What about to your north? Again, compound at Hotel 873 was not cleared. Hotel 873 was... My guys cleared it Where out. did no the striker contact. go? Oh, okay, I see they Copy wrapped. Copy that. We'll move then. Delshawn and Naked Mama Juju is coming up behind this Nightmare. Is we just had contact. Nightmare is probably going to get knocked out here. Command, where do you nope. Oh, God. Never mind. Oh, Delshun gets good. nightmare. Yeah. Really good, really good, really good communication between the two of them. Yep. Squad three is contact west. We're Bill Nye is We're calling out over. contact and only has two people left. And they are not in the greatest position. They are very, very no, exposed. Roger, if you can make your way to squad four and myself. And they, the insurgents they need to make sh yeah, they need to clean these guys up and get south because these two guys are holding up the the remaining insurgent forces. Now you can't forget about the uh, strikers. Strikers down there with them. Strikers yeah. just pulling uh, rear detail at this point. Lots of smoke break, going man, out over here. Break for uh, your squads on the further south. Uh, see if we make it. Roger three. If you can. Yeah, looks like Phil Nye is about to make a run three. for it. Probably gonna get spotted by Shackle Four. No. Stand up, Rusty. Stand up. Come on, Rusty. Ooh. All right, squad two. If you can be up, squad four. Contact is in Radio Tower. If you can get in a position to rain height down on Radio Tower. And it tower. looks like they're home free. Yep, they're good. Unless they get really unlucky and someone gets a beat on, but they should be able to relink with uh don't get shot over here. Strike is getting in position to put fire on radio tower. Striker radio tower is Gulf eight seven three. Yeah, that uh those insurgents need to start beelining south or the US are just gonna blow past them. They are getting further and further out of position. Yeah, I'm looking at the insurgents, they uh they really hard pushed that that rap attempting to get behind the U.S. forces, but they did it incorrectly. They took a lot of forces with them doing it. Should have left some up front to help Squad Three on the INS stop the uh, U.S. forces. At the rate things are going, the U.S. forces could probably push all the way to their point without contest, without any. Uh, yeah, there's no more roadblocks in the way yeah. of the striker. All the roadblocks are north of it. Actually, wait a second. Where are the logistic trucks? They're on the south side of the map. All right, uh, oh, okay, squad, I see them. I was just looking in the wrong place. Through at Heist Four, he's going to be coming past you, so you need to cover him as best you can with whatever contacts at Radio Tower. Copy. As Liberal tries to... Oh! If you can back off radio tower pressing it, and then get on the road that falls off the logic. Liberal almost flipped the logic. It decided it wanted to, um... Den deny the re existence of gravity. Yeah, let's go with that. Striker, can I get a one 
around us to cover my guys. Which... How we doing, Block? Sorry, guys, um, what happened? INS what happened? is not uh, where well, they need to be. Uh, Liberal did not keep up with me. That's uh, that's how we're going. I can't see you on the map. Where 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 is up here? Exactly, somewhere. Echo eight. I'm now in Echo eight uh, six. <sighs> no. Either. Oh. They almost made it. I'm kind of by myself right now. I'm just. I'm Phil not Nye radio, is down. I'm just gonna drive to the location and wait. I guess. They made it all the way back to the other team. And it's ended up dying. shot for Phil. F and oh, shot yeah. for Phil Nye. Striker should be clear to just bum rush it to me. Striker, but... Roger. All right. Let's go to and the they are now giving the go ahead to bum rush it straight to main with the striker. On the right side of the road, striker. This is squad two. My element is saying squad uh, three's yeah. lead just went down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Oddball is coming up on uh, Matt Hancho and don't get shot as Matt Hancho takes out Sir Blue Hood. Rose, U.S. forces need to start booking it. The INS forces are starting to pull together. This is squad two. My eight to the northeast are going to start pulling back. They're starting to get through. Roger. Understood. As soon as four has some guys in your truck, please get to squad one. Oh my god, beautiful last shot by Fulcrum there takes out Matt Hancho and Oddball cleans up, don't get shot. So uh, the US rear guard has completely been destroyed now. The insurgents are uh, free to maneuver onto the oh, yeah, main body of the US here. forces. Yeah. As, as Sergeant Jackson says, uh, liberal is the Andrew Garfield of medics and squad ops. Contact close. Contact striker. Striker's gonna have to move now. Squad two, you're able to get the squad one. This is not good. Liberal has got. Is that Lima Bean? Yeah, Sorry, Lima Bean's uh, just kind of. Roger. Just remember, guys. Sitting here between him and the striker. Ooh, Lima is getting knocked by Jenkins here. If he's not right, careful. Me, I'm the move. Roger. All right, all squads. We're gonna go to uh, Delta Eight Nine Four. Guido should be able to get there. Get a uh, fob down. Our mission is to rendezvous with him. So fend off the contact. Uh, with a buddy pair and have uh, the rest of you bound west. Command, uh, I think these compounds are clear south of. Uh, yeah, it's clear to me. Roger, four, as fast as you can make it to, uh, to that compound, but if you probably need to pull southwest because we've got guys behind us and to our north of us. And I'm looking at it. It looks like U.S. forces have ditched the lodges. They are all on foot. There is no striker. No, wait, wait. I am incorrect on that. They are way over here. Alpha Guido's lodge is still up. Someone's got a grenade. Throw it down there. Command arrival uh, location now. You set? I got you clear. I just drove in. Just now. And the U.S. forces have made it to their objective. They will now start building up defenses around it. And hopefully any U.S. forces that have not made it there can get there before they get cut off. But it looks like Kerr and Silver are really pushing to Headboss, if you can set stop up the, them. Uh, striker on, our, on the south side of the river. If you need to suppress with a buddy pair bound, just like in basic, uh, yeah. oh, right there. Okay, so uh, retreat, there. retreat under fire. 
Josh, do you think you can build? You don't, you don't have to tell. No, I can't. I can't. Oh, we got the hat kid about to engage the striker here. Kerr, let's right, see if that striker comes around the corner. You can put a mortar tube and oh, Kerr. That's not good. Mm, hits him, misses. but no damage. Misses. Hit the tire. Pop, yeah. Popped one of the yeah, tires. At least he slowed him down. To, you know, close on your wall. That's so unfortunate. Yeah. Platoon company. It is kind of hilarious looking at the... Uh, at these vehicles with a pop tire like though. To remind you that this is a time sensitive operation. We want to get other operations in the greater region going and we need your cop to do it. Please expedite your forces gather uh, regrouping, I'm sorry, on the cop. And it looks like the overcommand, also known as the event admins, has uh, come in and requested uh, that the US forces get their butts in gear and get on point. We just took one Let's hit, see if Kerr misses the second shot here. No, that's nope. a solid hit. Alright, if you pull the striker into it. No, the striker's still up and rolling. Yeah. Well, if he had hit it the first time, it would have been dead. But he just hit the tire. We are about to keep Saved by the rubber of the tire. Oh yeah. Drop smokes and get out. Get up more than I have contacts on red smoke. Oh, he's got another rocket. He's got his third rocket. He's gonna go try and. Uh... He's got to. If they leave that striker up, it's gonna be almost impossible for the INS. Oh, they're abandoning. Why are they abandoning the striker? What? Oh my God. What are they doing? Wait, headbus is going back to it. Headbus head no is sense gonna try and repair. Me. That makes zero sense to me. I think you need to take back over on the SOT. You gotta take back up the SOT and teach him how to do it properly. Why would you... Sure, your, your vehicle has half health, but you still have the 50 cal. It's the most powerful weapon in the in the operation. Yeah. You can't just abandon it like that. It's also armored and you can't be shot out of it. Yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know if they still run vehicle, SOTT vehicle, but that's like the main thing we teach in SOTT vehicle is you don't get out of your armor vehicle. <laughs> so I think the only SOTTs that are taught now are the basic and advanced. I don't oh, think and Kerr misses. So Kerr is one for three on his lat shots. <laughs> And it looks. Oh no! Oh, he hits it. He's two for four. He's two for four. And it is out of game. Down goes the striker. So he went two for four, but he took the striker out. So good job, Kerr. Good job. Yep. U.S. forces taking the long route across the bridge to. Uh, and get to their point. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Jenkins, Silent, and Liberal Pundit still up front there. Guarding the riverbed. Yeah, with uh, Insurgent Command and Lima. Oof. Hey, Command, be advised, I'm dropping mortars, danger, close, west. Oh, well, and mortar tubes are coming out for the. Uh, yeah, I would, I would hold. I'm dropping mortars for the insurgent, uh, uh, for the U.S. team now, out there, right uh, C O P location. And there's your answer on uh, SOT vehicle as it's being revamped and getting close to being rerun. That'd be nice. Great, I can finally get my vehicle cert that I'll never use. <laughs> hey, can we have an MG? My uh, MGs are set up on cap. Uh, Roger. 
Okay, you guys yeah, you got Jenkins and Silent I'm with the uh, the two machine guns here, just pinning down all those insurgents in the riverbed. Oh, <laughs> they're yeah. just scared to move. If they move, they're gonna. Die. I would be scared to move if I knew it was Jenkins and Silent there. I would oh, move definitely. at all. Two of the best machine gunners in the, in the game got them pinned down. All they need is a freaking Bartok over there, and that yeah, no. South side of right, Jenkins taking some shots. Get into the cop from the west side. Command, I see no contact between here and cop. You can probably get in. Unless there's a snake deal. Ooh, got some insurgents coming from the northern side of the compound. Rusty Shackle Ford alongside Sir Laughs a Lot and Fulcrum moving in. Oddball moving on to. No! Ooh, Rusty Mortar Shackle Ford takes it. out Aethel. Oh, that's Mortars right, they get the Mortar take now. Aethel out. Aethel is down to Mortars. Ooh, Lat in the front door. On the north side. Took out east Mr. Raggy east. in the back corner on the east. Contact on Blue Smoke. All right, we're gonna focus on the compound now, guys. Defensive war. <laughs> Unless you're flying a helicopter, Sergeant. That one's a requirement. You need to be cert for that one. Who just contact me on the? Yeah, you, they're on the bridge, Delta 732. Better yeah, fight thing. On the mortars, if you drop them possibly 100, 150 meters north, slightly north. Or at least verified that you know how to land properly. Probably get down See the butter out? Where's he going with it? Yeah, it's not ours. Know where those are going. Are they coming? Oh wow, Mama Juju, getting a little lucky there with the mortar placement. We got a guy crawling in the river east of the cop. Exactly, sub. Exactly. You can fly that, easily. Combat. Landing is the hard part. That's that, that's my type of uh, of pilot. I can fly, just can't land. I can land. It depends on where the uh, landing is, though. Silent and Logger in a little engagement right here. Oh, when they trade. Silent and Logger with the trade on the south side of the map leaves Liberal Pundit all alone on the south side now. Somehow that feels like it always happens. Now, who's going to uh, take out who? Is it going to be Liberal, or is it going to be... Oh, no. Liberal's on his own. There's no one there. Yeah, Liberal's in, in his, his safety bush, feeling all... Uh... <laughs> He's always in his safety bush. The man will find a bush, and he will stay there until ordered to move. Oh, I think that's... I think that's GG. I think there's no more insurgents left. Contacts in the compound. Charlie in the... We're gonna wait to hear from the event admins, but yeah, I think uh, all the insurgents have been killed. Yeah, that's yep. GG. All right.